डॉक्टर बीमा कुमारी आर्य वर्किंग एज मेडिकल सुपरिटेंडेंट ऑफ मेटर्निटी एंड गाइनी हॉस्पिटल सी जी एच एस अंडर सी जी एच एस एंड शी इज माई सिस्टर यंग सिस्टर शारदा आर्य एंड एक्चुअली शी वॉज हैविंग फीवर फॉर सिक्स डेज सो वी ट्रीटेड आर एट होम Uh, thinking that is it is a viral fever, but uh, and then we myself got uh, her some investigation, some routine investigation like CBC and all the urine test as as uh, so urine test, LFT, LKFT, all the basic investigation. Then, but she was not recovering, and in my hospital, Doctor Amrish is there. With uh, his reference, I came to this Manipal Hospital. He told me, Doctor Tapas is there in HOD of Medicine Department in Manipal Hospital. When we came here, that time when uh, the diagnosis was also not there, we were struggling with the diagnosis. We were thinking it, it is UTI, but uh, slowly we came to know this is enteric fever, and that by that time it was. Uh, it has become very complicated and uh, but uh, with the great efforts of dr tapas he and uh, her recovery is uh, almost like she recovered uh, such a complicated case he has managed it so uh, perfectly i am very thankful to dr tapas he is a great doctor with great knowledge he is having thank you Good morning. I am Dr. Tapush Kohli, HOD Medicine, Manipal Hospital, Dwarka Sector 6. Sitting beside me is Madam Sharda Arya. She has been suffering from enteric fever, and uh, she has been admitted here with a history of fever, hybrid, with loss of weight, loss of appetite, and she was not in a good condition when she was admitted. After admission, we investigated her properly, and she was found out to be suffering from enteric fever. her blood culture came out positive for salmonella typhi and after that she was put on antibiotics which are given for treatment of enteric fever she responded and meanwhile she also had pain abdomen and for that we did an endoscopy the endoscopy revealed multiple ulcers in the ilia which were typical of enteric fever in her particular case the diagnostic dilemma was there because she had also multiple splenic infarcts there was hepatomegaly there was splenomegaly along with it in the city there were inflamed intestine now this typical picture of splenic infarct is usually not seen in enteric fever in adult patients but she was a special case where she was a culture positive for salmonella typha typhi and in this patient the Splenic infarct was a rare presentation in adults who were suffering from typhoid fever. By God's grace, she responded well to treatment, and after giving intravenous antibiotics for about two weeks, she was discharged in a perfectly stable condition. And today, she has come for follow-up, and she is feeling better with all absolutely uh, improvement in diet, with improvement in fever condition. At present, she is febrile. Her temperature is 98 degree Fahrenheit. Chest is clear, and abdomen and other systemic organs are perfect. So she has been advised a prolonged antibiotic, considering her clinical condition. Probably she will need antibiotic for another five to seven days, oral antibiotics, and she will have a perfectly normal recovery. I hope uh, you are not having any problem right now, madam. No. You are perfectly okay. How you have been advised a diet properly? You are taking diet. Ah oh, yes, doctor. Okay. Any other problem you are facing right now? Ah, uh, doctor, बस वो छोटी-छोटी सी problem सी वो पैर में pain और washroom वगैरह की. Okay. बस और कुछ नहीं है. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you.